Hey everyone, Crash from Crash Customs, Lake Havasu, Arizona. And I wanted to uh, show you a project I picked up a few months ago, middle of summer, 87 Cadillac Fleetwood Rome. Saw this on the way home. Saw this on the way home from work with my girl and it was pulled up onto a tow truck sitting sideways flat tires just looked like looked like it was going to scrap so we called the tow truck company camel towing uh, we do business with them all the time and uh, I asked what was up with the Cadillac and they said we're scrapping it you want it and I'm like oh let me go look at it so we went to go look at it. It was literally 60 feet from the crusher. And we had to save it. It's really, really not bad at all. Definitely not worth scrapping. Doors shut nice, super nice. It's definitely a project, obviously it needs a top paint, but one of the big things is it's never been hit. It's got the original paint on it, so it'll be super easy to redo. And it's super straight. There might be maybe four little door dings in the whole thing. Needs fender extensions, but that's easy. They repop those. Supposedly, the motor's junk, and that did not bother me at all. It's a 305 Olds motor, and I just happen to have a 350 Olds motor out of a 71 Cutlass that runs really good. So we'll swap those out. Probably do EFI on it. So, with getting it, I can't leave anything stock. And the internal debate was lowrider or a donk. I don't have either of those. I have a set of 14 inch wheels, wider wheels. That's one of the reasons for lowrider. I don't have anything juiced either. But I do have stuff that's low on air. So this week, Marketplace set of 26s. They were about three hours away from Havasu. Same bolt pattern. And it's the style I like 12 spoke, thin spokes. They curve back, so it makes the lip look even bigger. So when they roll, they kind of have the feel of a wire wheel because the spokes are so thin. And with this groove in here, the sun hits it. It's the look I wanted. And even better, my buddy Ed was going down that way and he decided to pick them up for me. So I didn't even have to drive down there and get them. So right now, I gotta see if they fit, cause I never measured offset. I knew they came off of a 96 Chevy truck and uh, should be close, but we're gonna find out, find out together. My hope is they go on the front and the offset looks great. 
the back of the car does not matter to me because if I need to narrow the rear end a little bit, we can totally do that. But we're going to find out how lucky I get. So I don't think I can wait. It's the hottest part of the day. It's still summer, but this is like Christmas for me. I got to I got to see if they fit. Just to let you guys know, it is quite warm out. So, yeah, 136 on the sheet metal. It's probably 110 out. It says something about excessive heat, but drink water, don't be a wimp, and get it done, right? So let's do it. <laughs> That metal's warm. Gloves. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm pretty stoked. Pretty happy with everything. The uh, rear end does not need to be narrowed for offset, but the tires are probably too big. If I can get lower profile ones, that would be great. These tires are plenty of tread, but there's cracks in them. And they ain't great. Before what I paid for the wheels, it doesn't matter about the tires. It's got 295 30s on it right now. So a lower profile will definitely help with clearance. If there's still an issue, I put a slice here, move that forward, weld it up. You can see here, it's not seated up against the drum and it's tight on the quarter wheel well lip. But once that's seated up, there's plenty of room on the back side here so that'll bring that in obviously and I think there'll be plenty of travel for bouncing down the road and the front doesn't stick out too far doesn't stick in too far I like that here too I like the back it's tight it's tight but like I said lower profiles and if I got to put a slice on there slice on the back open up the wheel well a little bit that doesn't bother me at all it's getting repainted and we know how to cut and weld here so that's what I'll do but whoo, I like that I like it a lot obviously it's sitting higher than it would get a little squat in the back and it'll be all right. So that is that for now. When we get space inside the shop and it cools off, we'll uh, get it in on the hoist, and do what we got to do to it. But let me know in the comments, would you have done donk? Or would you have done little 14 inch wires or maybe even 13s in juice? To me, the car it's the only two options, lowrider or donk. Nobody's going to want to restore one of these. They're, there's plenty of them around that everybody knows what they look like stock. So make a scene. Make it custom. Thanks. Talk to you guys later.
Hey everyone, it's been about a week and a half since I messed with Psycho White and the 26 inch rims that I bought and the tires we were talking about are too big and I did a little bit of research which was pretty easy because there's only two sizes of tires that really fit on the 26 inch rims that I got and the ones that came with the rims are the taller ones so I ordered up the shorter tires and uh, got them back from the rim shop and uh, we're gonna put them on today it's Saturday at the shop so I should be left alone and with no one to bother me and there they are oh new tires in the Sun mm -hmm. so we'll unload these they're 275 25 26s they should be about an inch and a half overall shorter so really just three quarter inches shorter but uh we're gonna pull them out bolt them onto the cadillac and uh see how it goes hopefully they'll fit nice and tight and uh We'll find out if any sheet metal work to open up the wheel wells will need to be done. And uh, we'll go from there. They are on. <laughs> I'm pretty happy about this. Smaller tire made all the difference. It's still tight, but it ain't gonna hit. Definitely no problems with the rear, front, well, front's going to have to be sliced and moved forward a little bit here, back should be okay, and might have to do like a frame notch when you turn, but look at that. That's better. Shadow of the building, kind of screwing things up, but so it's pretty damn good to me. Throw some speakers in the back, squat it a little bit more. Might do QA ones on the front. Kind of feel like it should be like half an inch to an inch lower in the front. But overall. I don't feel bad about any of this. <laughs> Looks real good to me. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right, so what's the next plan for that car? Well, need to get it in the shop, pull the motor, and I got a different motor for it. Overall, we're just gonna make it a nice cruiser. So these had 305 Olds motors in them stock, and I have a 350 Olds motor that runs real good. So that'll go in, probably do EFI, some flow masters and more and more and more and more but you can't look at these projects like big picture because uh you're gonna lose your mind because it takes so long to do them and they're so involved you just gotta focus on small parts of the project at one time so that's about it for today talk to you guys later let me know what you think in the comments a like, a subscribe would be much appreciated. Talk to you later. Bye. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We really do appreciate it. Thank you.